I want to acknowledge firstly that the police responded immediately to the call that they received relating to the attack. The individual charged was in custody 36 minutes from receiving the first call. The offender was mobile. There were two other firearms in the vehicle that the offender was in, and it absolutely was his intention to continue with his attack. The 28-year-old male has been charged and remanded in custody to appear in the High Court on the 5th of April. As the Commissioner has said, the man is currently facing one count of murder, but obviously there will be further charges laid. Well, the police are working very hard uh, to form a picture of the activities of this individual uh, and what led up to the events that we saw uh, un, uh, occur in Christchurch yesterday. Uh, we are liaising closely with uh, Australian agencies and counterparts. In fact, I've heard again from Prime Minister Morrison today and we will stay in close contact. Uh, again, though, uh, I'm leaving it to the police and agencies to build that picture. We have great relationships with our Australian counterparts, and it will be a key part of, uh, of ongoing investigations. Uh, again, what I, what I do want to uh, set out is simply what the agencies have advised me uh, around the work that they had been undertaking around uh, the existence of violent right-wing extremist groups in New Zealand. Uh, they were live to those groups in New Zealand uh, as because of the fact that there uh, uh, has been a rise of that at a global level. Um, but again, uh, as a consequence that had not led to this individual coming to the awareness of New Zealand agencies. One of the issues we're facing is that uh, uh, the guns that were used in this case appear to have been modified. That is a challenge that police have been facing. Uh, and that's a challenge that we will look to address uh, in changing our laws. There are actually a raft of uh, issues on the table that I think we need to look at, so I don't want to be exclusively just looking at one. We need to include the fact modification uh, of, uh, uh, of guns, uh, which can lead them to become... Um, uh, essentially the kinds of weapons we've seen used in, in, in this terrorist act. Uh, the Minister of Police was already undertaking some work in this area. Um, we will be looking to expedite that work, but also see if there's additional areas that we need to address, particularly in light of what we have seen uh, on this occasion.